Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. This is Electron Configuration of Iron, FE lesson. Now, iron is the 26th element on the periodic table. So we're going to put 26 right here. And its atomic mass unit is going to be 56. Pretty darn cool, huh? So since the atomic number is 26, that means there's 26 protons. And since it's electrically neutral, it would have to be 26 electrons. What about the neutrons? Well, to figure that out, it's pretty simple. We go AMU minus the number of protons equals the number of neutrons, right? So we go 56 minus 26 would give me 30 neutrons. Pretty darn snile. Well, now, before we get into electron configuration, let's look at our subworks. Okay, our S subshell can hold two electrons. Our P subshell can hold six electrons. Our D subshell can hold 10 electrons. And our F sub subshell can hold 14 electrons. Whew, this has been a lot, huh? So now, this is the diagonal rule. Sometimes we call it the off-ball principle. And what we do is we follow these red arrows down, just like that, until we run out of electrons. So let's do it. So we get one S2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 2p6, 3s2. Pretty amazing so far, huh? 3p6, 4s2. And then now we're going to get to 3d here, and we're going to have 3d6. Wow, if you add that up, 2 and 2 and 6, 2 and 6 and 2 and 6, that makes 26 electrons. Okay, look at it, orbital notation in Hund's rule. Again, remember that Hund's rule states that you have to put an up arrow in every suborbit before you put the down arrow. Right, okay. So, up one, down one. There you go. 2s, up one, down one. Now watch this. Up, up, up. So we did 2px, 2py, 2pz. Now we can do the down arrows. Two, three, and that's a perfect example of one's rule. Three S, up and down. So let's do the next one here. One, two, and three. Now let's go down with the down arrows. One, two, and three. Amazing, huh? It really is that easy. Four S, up arrow and then down arrow. Now watch this. Three D X squared minus Y squared, three D X Y, 3dyz, 3dxz, 3dz squared. So watch this. One, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one goes right there. Pretty darn cool. Now what about my noble gas notation? Well, the nearest noble gas is going to be argon still. So we're going to put argon in there. A-R. And then look at this. We're going to block off our valence shell. And right there is our valence shell. Okay, so now let's put it numerically in order. 3D6, 4S2. Cool. Now, let's look at our quantum numbers. Remember, there are four quantum numbers, and no two elements can have the exact same set of quantum numbers. That's the Paul exclusionary principle, right? So now, think about this. Hmm. It looks like it's in the fourth period, but it's not. Remember that it's a D block element. And being a D block element, it would be N minus 1. So you would go 4 minus 1 would give us 3. So our N value, our principal quantum is 3. Pretty darn cool, huh? It's in the D block, so the angle momentum number is going to be also 2. Now our magnetic number, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Then we're going to repeat the pattern, so it's going to be back to minus 2 again. And now for our spin number, here is the last arrow. It's going down, so it's going to be 1 half negative. Well, listen, you guys be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moosin Chemistry!